Hey guys, um, I just wanted to go live here for a minute because every week we're, we do, when we do Gaw TV, um, we always talk about what we were wearing and we do like a little photo shoot and stuff. And I was like, oh, I didn't do it last week. And I almost didn't do it this week. So I wanted to do it this week. This is what I wore on this week's episode of Gaw TV. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe. The link is in my bio. Um, but this is just like a little, what is it? Dan skin. I'm not going to lie to you. It's Dan skin. I'm not going to wear some Alibaba and then try to pass it off as designer. Okay. Because that's not cute. Um, <laughs> but I want to say thank you to all of our Gaw uh, Ga TV subscribers. Lisa and Val and I are having so much fun. Oh, hey, hey Ella. Um, I see you guys here. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to go live for a second before I went to bed um, and just talk to you guys for a minute and, and say thank you. We um, launched our Patreon earlier this month and you guys have been amazing. Um, for all of you who haven't gotten your shout outs for the month of June yet, don't worry. They're coming. Um, yeah, this thing says inhale. Look, I got a book. Hold on. Inhale, exhale. Because honestly, that's what the world needs to do right now. I'm going to have to do this so I'm not, whoop, whoop. Um, you know, footy kitties. Um, <laughs> I just went on a Twitter rampage, y'all. Like, I'm like, people are crazy. Like, honestly, like, I don't, don't know why I bother. Like, I shouldn't bother. But, um, yeah. So, I want to take some questions here. I want to talk to you guys for a few minutes. I want to show you. Um, I don't know if you guys are pro-mask, anti-mask. I don't really. If you're anti-mask, then you can just hit that unfollow button because it's annoying. Um, what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing with the mask situation. I don't know if you saw that little graph that I posted on Twitter. Um, but U.S. is like... I know we love to win. You know what I mean? We love to do big everything. And, um, but our numbers are ridiculous, right? Who's this? I have COVID. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'll be praying for you. So, do I want to wear a mask? No. But I'll tell you why I wear a mask. I'm not really concerned about my own health. I'm a healthy person. I feel like if I caught it, I would be fine. If Nick caught it, he would be fine. Even if Donovan caught it, he would be fine. But I don't want them to catch it, right? I, I really don't. I don't want to catch it. I don't want them to catch it. Um, so I wear a mask out of respect for them. But the people that I wear the mask for the most is my mom who has like asthma problems. And so I know it would be a big issue if she got it. But for my grandmother, who's like 76, 77 years old, and she ha she already has a weak immune system. She already, you know, is a bit feeble and stuff. And honestly, if she caught this virus, it would be the end of her. And I do not want that. I do not want my selfishness to be the reason why my grandmother gets sick. And so, you know, my nieces, they're the best, Desiree and Destiny. Um, and if you know them and you're on their Instagram, don't think I don't see you because I stalk them and everything that they do. And I try to go in there and block some people all the time. Just FYI. Um, but yeah, so in saying all that with the mask thing, because I think people have like such polarizing um, opinions on it. But honestly, all these people are going like, I don't want to wear a mask. It's my freedom. You're being selfish. Okay. You're being entitled and you're being selfish. So stop it. Um, <laughs> but this is my mask. This is my new mask. And when I first got it, <laughs> I kept wearing it upside down because I didn't get it. Right. But this is how, this is my mask. This is from this, um, my designer, Adolfo Kanaka, see? So he sent me this mask with some other stuff because we're working on some really cool stuff in the future. Can't tell you about it yet, but you will see. Um, but this mask is so pretty. So I don't even feel like I don't have to wear one of those blue, like ugly medical masks. It has one of these little sleeves so you can slide the filter in it if, if you want, like the filters, the washable filters, or even the disposable filters in there if you need it. But it literally goes 
on like this. So you have to put it on, not attractive, right? But then it goes up above your ear here and it goes over your mouth and your ears. Can I just tell you something? If you're only wearing your mask over your mouth and not your nose, you're defeating the purpose, okay? Look at this. Me, I have a mermaid on my face. How cute is this? But is it blue? What? I know, old, that's old. Okay, let's we'll leave that there. So you can go to his page. I'm gonna make sure I tag him, um, but these, after our conversation the other day, are going to be the official mask of Gaul. I'm like trying to think of a cool name, whether it's the official mask of Gaul or the Gaul mask, or mask Gaul, mask Gaul, fucking mask Gaul. What? I don't know, but maybe that could be the commercial, perhaps. Um, I don't, what did you say? That's like putting a condom on your nut, what? I didn't, I was reading. <laughs> um, but it's super cute. It's very glamorous. He has tons and tons of amazing styles. Um, but that's later to come on Gaw. Um, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the promo code that you can go and um, get a little percent off if you're watching and you use the official Gaw uh, code and you can get your beautiful mask. And it doesn't, it's not just this one. He's got tons of designs on there. So when I tag him, you will see. It's amazing. But if you don't wanna wait that long until that episode comes out, then you can go over right now. Um, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I'm doing good. And uh, I'm just grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for Lisa and Val for doing God TV with me because it's kept my sanity in all this quarantine. Um, yeah, life is good. And so, um, if you were challenging for the tag titles, who would you want as a partner, past or present? Oh. Can I say Melina so we can redo Eminem, but the girl version? Mm-hmm. I don't know who the N M N N M N M. Who would be the M? Nikki. M N M. Be a trifecta of craziness. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say Trish, but you guys always say Trish, and you know I love Trish. I have so much love and admiration for Trish. But that would be my, um, if I could relive or redo one more match one more time, it would be her. Um, <clears throat> yes. Okay, so um, let's see. Are there any other questions? Have you all subscribed to Gaw TV yet? Um, if you haven't, please do. Um, it's been crazy because we have such amazing fans. You can join us in the chat. We go live every Wednesday. Um, it's 6 p.m. Eastern, and we go live in the chat room. So Lisa, Val, and I, and sometimes, look, this hair is a hot mess. I had it up in the top knot, but then I I can't keep my head still, right? So I just got out of the shower, and I was just like, oh. I did not wash my hair, y'all, because I only wash my hair like every, I don't want you to judge me right now. Unless I've gotten like super sweaty and there's a reason, or I've gotten dirty, which I do because I, I, work on the farm and I do stuff like that all the time but if I'm not if I'm just like casually just living my life I only wash my hair like every three to four days it depends usually that fourth day I'm like okay I need to wash it um have I been no I have not been inducted into the hall of fame yet yet being the key word there uh VA guy here baby oh yeah uh Let's see. Um, let's see. Who is your favorite woman in NXT right now? I'm going to have to say Rhea Ripley. I really like her. I, I, I'm a big fan of hers. I think she's not just fantastic in the ring. I think she's a fantastic human being. And that's where I really rate people. I don't only rate people on their talent because, you know, I've met and seen a lot of of talented people in my life um, but it's when their character matches their talent that really impresses me so 
uh, let's see, hmm, hell yeah, right? Because there's nothing worse than a super talented person who's also a shitty person. I hate that. That's ugly. It's so ugly. Um, I do hope Renee is getting better. Um, and uh, that's so crappy. This virus is nasty. Um, it's ugly. Uh, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, so I'm not going to just talk about that. But Hi, Gabe. I love you, too. What time do you sleep? Well, here's the thing with me and sleep. I always think I'm going to sleep early at like a reasonable hour. And I'm like, next thing I know, it's 4 a.m. And I don't know what happened. It's not like I don't want to go to sleep because I get tired. But I just don't. It's weird. But I am going to go to sleep early tonight. So, But I did want to come on here and um, just say hello and good night and all those good things. Okay. What does this say? Uh... Hi, Jason Miller. I saw it. Don't worry. Um, hmm. I know I am energetic. You wouldn't think that I would be so energetic. What time is it? I'm going to be super classy, y'all. So, these little guys. And wine. Hmm. Let's see. Would you and Beth have another match? I loved that feud. Beth was one of my favorite feuds, I'll be honest. Actually, you know, I say that. It's hard to pick a favorite because there's special moments or, like, special reasons as to why I, in, like, I loved each of my, like, real rivalries, right? Like, not just a match. Like, matches are matches, right? I don't... Matches are great, but I always am in love with the story because I love the storytelling art of wrestling like it doesn't like it's nice to be able to have a good match but I feel like a lot of people can go out there and have a good match right but not a lot of people can go out there and um, draw on your emotions and that's a that's an art to be able to do that right and so Let's see. Did I get upset with the tribute to The Undertaker? No. Why would I get upset? I love The Undertaker. He's a legend. Uh, skin tone, chicken bone. Leave me alone. What does that mean? Um, I don't know that Stone Cold Steve Austin ever gave me advice. Because, um, you know, as I was coming in, he was kind of on his way out. He's always been incredibly kind to me. He's always been super sweet. I love Steve. We've talked about riding four wheelers in the country. Um, we've talked about the horses. We've talked about the farm. We've not talked a whole lot about wrestling, which is kind of weird. Um, so, but you know, I'm a huge Steve Austin fan. Um, <clears throat> I always have been. I, uh, broke into wrestling right around that attitude. Like my first, I first started training in no, um, November 98. And I had my very first match in March 99. So, um, yeah. So, you know, I was still very much, and even when I broke into the business, as we all are, I was still very much a fan. Like, I was still very much a fan. I was a huge fan of Stone Cold Steve Austin. I was a huge fan of The Rock at that time. Um, I loved Shawn Michaels. I've always loved Shawn Michaels. Um, he was, he's probably like of that, like he was probably my all-time favorite, actually. Um, but my all-time favorite of all time is obviously, if you don't know this, then I don't know how you can say you're a Mickey James fan because it is the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah. And sensational Sherry, scary Sherry, um, legends, greatest of all time, legit goats, but that's just me. Uh, let's see. Oh, hi, babe, Margo. Um, I always love seeing my friends just like pop on here, like friends from back home and stuff. It just makes me smile. Um, I am still in the WWE. I'm going to show you. You see my knee? Look at this guy. 
Is that hot or what? You see this guy? That is my scar from my ACL surgery that I wear like a badge of honor. Um, and then it got a little jacked up because you can see right here, I know I rock and roll. What? Um, this, like, uh, it got like a, a stitch inside, got jacked up, and then Doc had to re, after it was already healed, he had to reopen it back up to pull that, um, to pull that out, to pull the stitch that got messed up out. And then, so it made the, uh, the scar just a little bit uglier. So, I know you guys probably don't see this as much. Like I did actually talk about the photographers. This scar right here though, you wanna know what this scar is from? I'm all scarred up. This scar was from when I got um, MRSA in my knee in like 2000 and, was it 2008, 2009? Um, a serious case of MRSA. And that was one of the ugliest things I've ever experienced in my whole life. What are you talking about? I don't know, uh, this one person, I'm like, I'm about to block them because I don't understand what they're talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna go back. There was a question that I wanted to ask and now I can't find it or like, you know. Hmm. What graft did they use for the ACL? My hamstring. You know what he said too about my hamstring? It's the craziest thing because I always like looked at my legs and I'll be honest, I've never been a fan of my legs. It's always been the last that I can get to respond, that I can get to do anything to have definition. Don't get me wrong. I think you know, a, a lot of people like my legs or like my legs were never, like it was never offensive to a lot of people. But me, like when I work out in the gym and I'm working so hard, I really, you're so sweet. Cause I literally have, I have lotion on my skin right now. I took my, I washed my face and I literally have nothing on my face. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, my ACL. So yeah. So he took my hamstring and when he took my hamstring, he goes, you know, when I rate women's hamstrings, you know, I usually put women like a strong, a woman athlete, a female athlete. The best I've ever seen is usually at a six or a seven in their hamstring strength. He told me my hamstring was at like a nine or a 10. He put me up there. He goes, I rate you right alongside the NFL football players. And in my mind, I'm like, what, why, really? Because I, my hamstrings, like when I look, like I work them out, but I don't respond. And I attribute this now that I've like looked back, you know, I've ridden horses all my life, which require a, all my leg strength. Cause I don't ride with my hands. I ride with my legs. That's how my, that's how I was taught. Um, <clears throat> so I think that because I've ridden horses all my life and my, my, just my legs are super powerful, but which is also why they don't respond as well when I'm trying to like get them to tone up that and genetics because my family, the women, we all have big booties and big hips. I mean, it's a struggle. I fight it all the time. Got that leg power though. Show, you know, um, my hair looks like recruits mustache. <laughs> Does it me, 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 me. This is like my go-to flip up because I can't be bothered to like, try to cutesy buns it and then I can do this, but like I can also, if I do this around it and then it's like a double flip, oh, that's not working. Or I can mess this up in front of it and it kind of looks like I'm, I got bangs or something, I don't know. I'm just lazy and that's the best I can do. That's really the real. <laughs> I love Alexa Bliss, thank you. Um, there's nothing wrong with a good booty. Uh, let's see. Macho Man is the man. I'm like, ooh, what is this question? Um, let's see. I, hmm. I'm like, you guys keep commenting and I keep losing it. So I'm just going to wait. Never mind. I'm not going back. 
Um, hello from Snoof Balls. I do miss wrestling too, and I'm ready to come back. Um, obviously, I want to come back when it feels right and when it's right. You know what I mean? Uh, hi from California. I love California. Yeah. I'm friends with almost everybody. And if I'm not friends with them, I probably wouldn't tell you here. But because I'm, I'm not like that. Um, give me your skincare secrets, babe. Honestly, I wish I had some, but I don't. Like, I wash my face at night and in the morning. I moisturize and um, every morning, every evening. Uh, right now, um, I'm actually using this CBD kind of infused moisturizer at the moment. But I'm getting ready to switch over because um, Drunk Elephant just sent all of us girls of Gaul, the ladies of Gaul, grown ass women, um, some really cool skincare stuff. So um, I might switch over. But I kind of flip around. Like, I'm not one of those girls, like those people who like get married to one product and is like, oh, I haven't found that product. For me, I haven't found that product. And if you guys have any advice or anything like that, because I am not a super girly girl, girl, girly girl. Like, I'm very much a country girl. So I don't. You know, for the longest time, I was putting um, that cocoa butter. You know the cocoa butter that comes in the jar? I would put that on my... Dude, I'm going to block you. Keep it up. I can't. Um, I would put that on my face at night, you know? But uh, I've never had an issue with, like, breaking out. I, I maybe get, like, one. So I that stuff, if it's too oily... Um, it doesn't really bother me because my, it doesn't mess up my skin. I've just been I'm very blessed, you know, Native American. It's like, we got good skin, I think. We got definitely got good hair. I addressed that in a tweet. Um, I know. I, I know there is. I see you. <clears throat> okay. So I won't make this too long. Um, but if anybody had any serious questions, no. Hi, from Richmond. Richmond VA, baby. Um. I've not, you know what? I think that it might be, Charlotte Flair might be the only woman on the roster currently. Well, no. Have I done anything with the Iconics? Have I wrestled the Iconics? Okay, so she's not the only one. Virgo Nation. <laughs> I don't know if you guys follow. There's this chick. Um, it, her name is Valencia um, on, it's on, she's on um, YouTube. And she does, like, you know, tarot cards, all this stuff. But that's her gimmick. She goes, Virgo, <laughs> Virgo clan, Virgo nation. <laughs> anyway, I watch all her stuff. I love it. Um, but I'm very much a Virgo. That's why I don't think this whole uh, quarantine thing has truly affected me. Because I am totally okay being in my own quarantine. Because what you guys don't realize is that when I'm not on the road and I'm not in the public eye... I'm totally in my little hermit crab, and it's totally fine. <laughs> um, what's the plans now? What's your next plans now? God, I have so many of them. I'm working on God TV. You can subscribe. Links in my bio. Um, and we also have all the channels on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, um, Patreon now. I'm work, so I'm working on that. I'm collabing with that. I'm collabing with my friend Adolfo, and. Um, Joaquin, I don't know if you guys have seen, but Joaquin is Aristas. I, I don't know if I ever say that, but his name is Joaquin. Um, he is my stylist, and he sty he was styling me a lot for um, main event, main event Mickey. Um, but he styles me a lot, or like for the red carpets and stuff like that. So he introduced me to Adolfo, and so we're gonna work on some cool stuff, but um, with these masks and stuff, but. More than just masks. These are these are like mask all, mask all. I want to sing the song so bad, but I don't know if there's any young kids on here. Although it's twelve fifteen at night, so there shouldn't be, but there might be. Um, <clears throat> but you know what song I'm singing? Um, yeah. Hello from India. I love India. I was I went to um, was it Pune? Pune? Yeah. <gasps> who is this? Remember me from the New Hampshire recording studio when you came in with Lita Ford. Renee. 
Yes, I do. Oh my God. Oh, I wish I could get a hold of Lita because that song was amazing and I still want you all to hear it. So what you need to do is you need to go at Lita Ford and say, please, 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 we want to hear the song with you and MJ. Um, yeah, anyway, I love Lita. She's amazing. Um, I love both Litas. Lita in the ring, Lita Ford, both legends um, for different reasons. Anyway, uh, what do I think about Becky's pregnancy? Of course, I'm happy for her. One mom to another, like, it's the most amazing experience that you could ever have. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed my pregnancy, and honestly, she's pretty damn smart because she couldn't have picked a better time to take some time off to have a baby, you know what I mean, during all this stuff, and being that there's no fans in the audience or whatever. Look, she's going to come back. The fans will be back. She'll be over AF. Smart girl. Smart. She worked it. She don't work the office. What? <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Virginia is home for me. Virginia, Nashville. Virginia will always be my home, but Nashville too. Um, what books am I reading? Oh, God. I'm reading. What am I reading? I think I've told you this is my dilemma is that I start books and then I don't finish them and then I come back to them, but then I have to go back a chapter to kind of catch up because I done missed it. I'm reading like four or five books at one time. Um, I think the book, I'm gonna go get it. Um, I did do the song with the Yin Yang Twins, the left, right, left, right, left, you ain't got nothing. I think this is the book, hold on. seriously going to show you what an issue I have. Okay, so this is the book that, I, that I'm that i reading probably at the moment, which you can see it's grizzled from travel. Um, I don't have a Kindle. I'm sorry, I'm not, I am reading the comments. I am Sat K. Um, I can't keep up with them all. There's a lot of them. But yeah, this is the book I, I'm reading. I was reading this book a while back ago, and I stopped. Look, here... And now I've picked it back up. So there's that. But this is the serious problem I have, y'all. This is one notebook. Make it happen. This is my gall notebook. Um, this is just my notebook. It's all grizzled. It's all like, but there's tons of really brilliant ideas in here. Right? How pretty is that? Um, let's see. This is my planner. No, I do not keep my planner on my phone. I keep a paper planner because this is, this is how my brain operates, I'm telling you. And this is another notebook. This is a different creative notebook. So this one I actually don't, you know. Yeah. This one I just kind of started. This is gonna be, you know, I still got some stuff in here, but yeah. Just started this one, so. I have a serious problem when it comes to books and notebooks. I think I, I probably have more notebooks. Now, actually, I, will, I won't say that because I have a ton of books. Like my always, my, my goal was to eventually have a library with one of those rolling staircases that you could. Uh, I'm showing the books inverted. I think it's because the camera is flipped. Isn't that pretty though? Isn't that cool? Um. Uh, yeah. So I hope that answers your question about the books. Um, yeah. Okay. I won't going to keep you on here for too long. So I'm like, mm. where is the real world's champ? He's at home with baby D. Um, it's gorgeous. Thank you, Frankster. Um, when are we going to see you back in the WWE ring? I don't know. Soon? Maybe? Maybe not? We'll see when the time is right. I'm a smart cookie. I pick my times, you know? I pick those opportunities. You hate me? Okay, so why are you here? <laughs> um, 
Yeah. <laughs> People are so funny, you know. What I told you, it says inhale, exhale. <sighs> because that's what the world needs to do right now. Thoughts on Vince Russo. I love Vince Russo. He's always been nice to me. He's always been kind to me. I think a lot of people are very unkind and unfair to him. Um, no one person can make something magical, nor can they make it terrible. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, living rent free in the heads of the haters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You know what I really love is when people take some, like, this is so funny because I see it happen so often. Is like somebody will hear somebody say something really clever in the on you know in the locker room or in passing, or they'll say it in catering or something, and then they'll try to hurry up and go say it on TV so they can act like they came up with it and try to get it over. That makes me laugh. So it makes me laugh so much. Um, <laughs> I love you guys too. What am I drinking? I'm drinking these stupid like little Sutter Homes because we're filming. It's terrible. It's not good. But I have two more left and well, one and a half now because they come in those like terrible little four packs and it's not the worst thing I've ever drank in my life, but it's certainly not the best. However, when we were filming, we were filming an episode of God TV, you know, we share cocktails and then, um, and we talk in our pajamas and like this is this week's episode so when we were filming I was like oh, I didn't get any alcohol for my room so I needed to go get alcohol from said gas station and um, biscuit butt <laughs> you know where I got biscuit butt from I'm gonna tell you where I got biscuit butt from which is so funny because Vince thought biscuit butt was the funniest thing he thought it was so hilarious and then I remember they were like um, it came. It became a thing because he liked it so much. And then some of the writers they tried to write it into like whatever. Like I'm like, but this is not how that phrase goes. You have to say it kind of like this because they're not familiar with the phrase biscuit butt. Because a very southern term um, that they didn't understand how the phrasing went to in order to serve up the biscuit butt. Serve up the biscuit. Um, so we had to have a long talk about that. Um, but. Biscuit butt was one of those things that it's come from my dad's side. My dad and my grandpa used to say, like, my, my dad was like, you better bring your little biscuit butt over here acting like you're doing something, something like that. Like, it was, it's more of, like, it can be endearing in the sense of, like, whatever, but it's also, like, it was whenever I was sassing or something. Um, so, yeah. I don't know Hindi. I, I wish I knew more languages. I speak a little bit of French and a little bit of Spanish and a whole lot of American. I don't even say English because English English is way different than American English. Um, hmm. This kid pie is so funny. You know who was hot about that too? It's so funny. It was Thea Rosita uh, Zelina because in TNA not only did I call her peanut because she's the cutest little thing I want to put her in my pocket and I'm little so if I can put Zelina in my pocket you know um but I would call I called her biscuit butt there at TNA and then so when she heard me call Lexi uh biscuit butt she was like oh I thought I was biscuit butt I'm like you'll always be my biscuit butt <laughs> um my bracelet this is a um well one is a hair tie that's a bit grizzled and stretched but this is a chakra it's for your chakras um i'm one of those i'm one of those best pizza place you've been to oh that's hard you know a lot of people think i'm gonna say um what's that place in chicago the giordano giordel it's good but i'm not a huge fan of chicago deep dish pizza i'm not it's too bready for me it's too much going on i like a good hand tossed like Italian style kind of pizza where the bubbles pop up on the crust and you can peel the bubbles off and then you can like kind of squish it in the cheese or like soak up some of the grease on it and the pizza slice folds and you can eat it like a pizza taco that's the kind of pizza I like um, thank you thank you I love this bracelet 
um, honestly, it wasn't even, a, I go to those like, um, crystal stores and stuff. Um, and that's where I got it from. So I don't even think it was even terribly expensive. It was probably like $12, but, and it feels like it's ready. Like it wants to, but it's not going to break. Hey, happy birthday. It's your 17th birthday. Um, I'm like, oh, I don't here. You're asking me again, darling. And I don't know how to speak Hindi. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. No, St. Louis. I don't know what St. Louis pizza is. I don't know different styles. I only know that um, Pizza Hut's all right. Like, I always say, like, those chain pizzas, like Pizza Hut, Domino's, um, Little Caesars. I guess if I had to pick one, it would be Papa John's of those styles. But that's all, like, fast food pizza. That's like, oh, do you like McDonald's or Wendy's? Not really either, but if I have to, then I will. Uh, I prefer like a real mom and pop, like brick oven style, real pizza, like a traditional style pizza. I even like just like a margarita pizza. I don't need all the fixings on it. Um, so yeah. And, oh yay. I'm glad that you like this song, Shooting Blanks and Going Fast. Yay. What about pizza with ham? I love ham, y'all know I do. I love pineapple on my pizza with ham. Um, that's so delicious. I know that's like, you know, one of those weird things. Uh, favorite whiskey, because that's important. I used to drink a lot of ja lot more, a lot of Jack Daniels. I had to, I stopped drinking the whiskey as much because I realized that me and Jack have like a very terrible relationship. It's very toxic, you know. Um, so we had to stop seeing each other. And he still calls me, call me up and I have to hang up on him because I can't deal with this bullshit. You know what I mean? But when he has the honey, when he brings his honey with him, we're friends again, especially with a little ginger. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, um, what storyline did you hate doing? <laughs> but I lost, I lost him. Really? With the pineapple, you know what it is? This is a sweet, this is a conversation that we had on God TV. And so if you are a subscriber, you would know this. It's the sweet and savory. And I'm very passionate about my food. So I won't go on to it right now because I could just talk for a half an hour about the sweet and salty together. Um, they really had to edit me down because I just could not stop myself. Um, yeah. So I was answering a question and I forgot it. Ooh, my favorite ice cream. Ooh, um, mint. Mint cookie, though, not mint chip. Like the mint cookie, like it's like the mint, like the Girl Scout cookie, the mint Girl Scout cookie in the green ice cream, the green, like old school fashion kind of mint ice cream. Because the green makes me feel like I'm really eating the mint when it's just like, I feel like I should be eating cookies and cream when it's, when it's just the plain vanilla kind. So... Hmm. Pineapple is very, very good for you. What do you mean that mint ice cream? Come on. You know what else I loved, which I was thought everybody thought I was the weird for was the pistachio. Like I was like, oh, this is so delicious. Or coffee ice cream. Big fan. I just love ice cream. Let's just be basic. Like I, I love ice cream. You, I don't like the birthday cake ice cream. Way too sweet. I don't like super, 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 super sweet stuff. I don't like white chocolate. I like dark chocolate. I like milk chocolate. Like it, it goes in the realms, right? Dark chocolate is the best. Milk chocolate is the second best. White chocolate, take it or leave it. Don't need it. <laughs> Do I still root for the Dallas Cowboys? For life. Faux life. I don't care. I have been their fan. Um, and my dad was a Dallas Cowboys fan. And so that's why I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. And I have been their fan when they were great. And I have been their fan when they were terrible. And I recognize being a Dallas Cowboy fan, it is a hard job sometimes to be a Dallas Cowboy fan. But I am a fan. I'm not a fair weather fan. I don't, I'm not a turncoat. I don't switch teams just because they're not popular. I am loyal to my team because I love my team. So there you go. Um... Uh... 
I don't know. Who would I like to face at WrestleMania that I've never faced before? God, that's such a hard, hard question. Mm. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's so hard because there's a several people that I would like to face. Um, but being that we've never faced each other and if I had to wait till that moment to face her, I'll say Charlotte. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay. Yay. Somebody book it. I'm going to call Betts as soon as we get off here. Have I ever experienced racism in Virginia? Yes, I have. I have. Um, I grew up in a small town. I, we, I hail from Richmond, Virginia, but I grew up in Montpelier, Virginia. I actually experienced racism on my Twitter when I made a comment and someone told me I should get out of rural Virginia. And I wanted to respond, but I didn't want to give them the validation. I'm like, are you truly threatening me? Because I can guarantee you that I have way more friends in high and low places. Because I keep my friends in my low places and I keep my friends in my high places. You know why? Because one, they're my friends. And two, because you need people everywhere. So anyway. Um, but I was like, I know you're not coming at me right now. Like... And you're threatening me? Why? Because I, I'm defending my my friends, the people that I love and that I care about. Get out of here. Beat it. Make like a tree and leaf. Make like an egg and beat it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a three-way dance between you, Charlotte, and Lacey Evans. Um, I don't. Have you seen them two dance? <laughs> Um, let's see. Um, if I could pick anybody from the Cowboys to be my partner in a mixed tag team match, who would it be? Old or new? Because old school, I would say Tony, uh, not Tony Romo, um, Emmett Smith, all time leading rusher. But right now, um... I should say Dak Attack, but I want to say maybe, hmm, that's hard. Because you know what? They would probably be terrible partners in the wrestling ring. Because wrestling is very hard. Just like they would probably hate it if I tried to play football. One, because I'm scared of catching the ball, for one. Not scared of it. Like, I'll catch it. I've caught a football. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a tomboy. I know how to catch the, the football. But honestly, I don't want to. I don't. It's coming at me. It's coming fast. It's pointed at the end. If it hits me in the nose, I'm just going to be like, oh, my nose. Ow, my nose. No, I'm not trying to do it. I'd rather a round ball, you know what I mean? That's not so aerodynamic and that can come at my face at a velocity, you know? It's a lot going on there. I actually played baseball. I played Little League Baseball with my sister when I was younger. And I don't know if you guys, if you ever noticed, but if you look at my chin you'll see how it's like dropped a little bit on that side compared to this side i'll tell you how that happened is when I, my sister and i were playing little league baseball we were the first girls on our little league baseball team this was before it was cool before they were letting girls on all the teams so like it was a whole big thing were we good no probably terrible i played outfield um anyway i'm back there practicing with my brother and so I'm practicing the pitch and I'm trying to practice catching because I'm scared I'm scared of the ball, especially when it's coming at me fast. It's a little terrifying. Like a big dodgeball, that's okay. You know, soccer ball, that's fine. Basketball, it's round. I feel like I can block it or catch it, right? Or something. I'm throwing a hand up. Always put my hand up. But this thing, I pitched him the ball. All of a sudden I hear crack, right? So here I am. I'm looking around for this ball. No ball. But the look on my brother's face was like someone just got shot. Like he had seen a ghost. And I wish I could show you my tongue, but I probably have wine tongue right now. Um, when I tell you that he line-drived this baseball at my 
face and it knocked out. I want to say I lost like four or five teeth that day. Thank God they were like all, they weren't all my real teeth. But I also bit my tongue in half to the point where I'm like, I don't know if you can still see the the line in it, but literally like when you get up close and like some, some Nick's obviously seen it, people have seen it. There is the bite mark in my tongue. My tongue was like holding on by like a little piece of meat like that on the side where I, because I have this bad habit, I got it from my daddy, is that I bite my tongue when I'm really exerting myself sometimes. If you go see some of, there's like an actually like, I think there's a tops card where I'm literally biting my tongue in it. And I'm like, damn it. It's one of those terrible habits. Literally almost bit my tongue off. It was holding on by a thing, not a spit that I remember going, and then it happened so fast it didn't even hurt, right? Like it was like, boom. And I'm like looking around for the ball and then I look at him and I'm like, and then it hit me what had happened. Not the ball. Here. I looked down, I went, I spit my teeth out and blood just came in my mouth. And and Wayne, Lil Wayne, we call him, Lil Wayne. He's like, oh my God. They ran to my mom. My mom's on the phone, right? She's yada, 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 cackling, right? Talking to her friend. And she's like, Sandra, Sandra. You know, it's my stepbrother. So it's like, he called her Sandra. I call her mama. And um, Sandra, Sandra. She's like, what, what, what? Like, was we're bothering her because we're interrupting her conversation. And he's like, oh my God, Mickey, Mickey. And she's like, what? And then I sit there and I just open my hand and I go, meh. And my tongue flapped down like just down here because it was literally holding on to it like by a stitch craziest thing ever so i had to go to immediately she's like <gasps> she screams she's like oh my god i gotta call you back she hangs up the phone she calls the doctor gotta rush down to the doctor um do you know that they didn't sew my tongue back together i literally no i'm not drunk i promise you i'm completely sober i've been sipping this this is it you don't know me this cannot this is just for fun um he wouldn't sew my tongue back together because he said your t- the tongue is the fastest healing muscle in the human body. The, so I'm like, oh, I can't, literally couldn't talk. My tongue's flopping around. I'm like, I can't eat. I couldn't do nothing. Not even dying. I'm like, I'm not even lying. You can ask Al Snow about this story because my mom and I told him this story. And this was like when I told him about the second time how I had to eat out of a straw, like in my young to adolescent years. The other one, we were riding four wheelers and I somehow flew off the four wheeler and then my little brother ran over me with the four wheeler and then I had to eat out of a straw again. That's neither here nor there. We'll talk about that later. But literally, I could not eat solid food for until my tongue grew back together. And it took a long time. Like it took a while. Like Yes, it was the fastest healing muscle, but for the rest, I want to say for like a month straight, I had ices, um, puddings, smushed peas, yogurts, ice cream. That was a bonus and all that because, you know, um, yeah, real thing. But that's what makes, I th- you know, it, it kind of it, like, I think it like cracked my chin and made my chin like it's just a little longer on this side and the side. But there's also like some teeth marks in my tongue right here where you can, it's still to this day where you can see where I, I bit my tongue in half. Um, this was not an in-ring injury. He just joined us, guys. That was from when I was a child. I was practicing baseball with my, um, with my stepbrother, Wayne, Lil Wayne. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's story time. You're welcome. You guys have, you guys have done so much. So, um, I feel like I've been really doing it and really going for a long time. So, I'm going to let you guys go and go to bed. I don't even know what time it is. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for joining. <laughs> oh, let me just block this person real quick. Hmm. Why can I not? Oh, there we go. Boom. He go. I hate ugly people. Like not ugly people on the outside, ugly and people on the inside, because that's where true ugliness is, right? Make a TikTok. You know they say that TikTok is how um, China is watching us. 
that they've and they've infiltrated it through because they realize that TikTok all the kids will download the TikTok so they can listen in on us like Alexa. That's what they say. I don't know. Not a huge conspiracy person, but you know. What'd you say? Anyway. <laughs> what you say? He gone. Mm -mm. Beat it. He gone. You can use that anytime you want, by the way. Anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. I need to go to bed because I still, I need to do stuff. Conspiracy theories. Uh, it's so addicting. I see these people doing TikToks. You know, my nieces are on TikToks. And that was another thing that I thought, like, when TikTok first came out, I was like, oh, this is really cute because my nieces had it and they were all down, like, they had downloaded and all their friends. So I honestly thought it was an app for children. And it's, now it's not. I, I don't know. But, but because when it first came out, that was the only people I saw that had it was like, you know, 10 year olds, 13 year olds. But apparently never, everybody has because we're all children, I guess. So anyway. All right. I need to go to bed. You guys are amazing. Um, don't forget to, um, you know what? I'm almost, by the way, tell your friends. I'm like 2,000 people, I guess, away from 1 million followers on Instagram, which is pretty freaking amazing. Um, but if I got to a million followers by my birthday, what is that, like two months away? It would not hurt my feelings. I know. I know. I need to shut up. Okay. You guys are amazing. Follow Gaw TV. Go hit that um, subscribe. Hit the little dingy bell in the corner so it'll remind you. And we will see you live in the chat on Wednesday. Wait, I know. Oh, and...